This is John. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install drivers on your Windows 10 computer. And for this kind of printer, we have the MF635X, and we're going to show you how to install the drivers with the old CD that comes with your computer. First of all, you're going to turn on the printer, and you go to this PC, then Manager and you go to device manager then you're going to see it when you turn on the computer and i'm going to pause the video and show you how to install to insert the cd here mm -hmm. first of all you open your your cd drive then make sure it's fit in then after so when you reach this step you go to this pc then you see the cd that has been mounted on the computer then you have to, uh, to click yes to allow the installation and this is the process you use to you select english then you're going to make an easy start then in this case, we're going to use the first option for USB. That's what we are using right now. Then press next. Then install. It's going to install all these things very fast. Yes. Then the installation will start. When you reach here, click next. So the next step you have to connect your your printer. Then I'm going to skip this process. I have already connected my printer. Then you have to wait. It has completed to install the first one. Then you have to go for the second one. I'm going to click install. Then wait for it to install. This is it's like uh, 50 MBs and has completed then it's going to take us to the second third one then also to install the the user it has also completed the user menu for the it, it is an HTML then you have to all wait for all these things to complete to get your printer set up then we are going to click next then three comments we restart our computer and I'm going to pause this video and come back when it loads again uh, now our computer has, has restarted then what you are going to do you are going to go to window then you are going to look for Canon then we start our printer utility then i'm going to click here to, to try to scan for a document this is what i already scanned and it has completed the scan then if you want to save your image you can also adjust the corners so that it gives out the accurate things you want to then scan and this is what we get so thanks for watching this video if it was helpful please subscribe for more videos like this goodbye